an outdoor truck for older hunters. William Hovey Smith, 2015. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also the new book, Ideas for New Businesses, to tell you how to make your billion or billion dollar business. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and it's springtime in Georgia, and it is time for things new, like puppy dogs and an outdoor truck specifically for older hunters. Yeah, it is. Now I have been driving a series of Dodge Dakotas and when time came to replace my last one, you know what? They stopped making mid-sized trucks several years ago. Uh, they no longer make a Dakota and even the Ford Ranger hasn't been made for a while. So I was left pretty much with a Nissan, but the Nissan was still a bigger truck than I wanted. I managed to find a Ford Ranger with only 29,000 miles on it. And that's this little truck right here. And for all practical purposes, from my point of view, it's new. <laughs> yeah. And I'll show you the features of it and tell you why I like it. This particular truck is a King Cab model. And in the modern Ford Rangers like this one, it has doors that open on both sides for easy loading of this area behind the seat. So now you didn't have to put everything over the front seat like once you used to. Also, there's ample room in there for me. I'm not a huge guy. I don't need a great big double wide truck. Uh, this one will do me just fine. It has power doors and windows, okay. Uh, air conditioning, of course. And it comes with a V6 engine. Uh, which is a four liter, the most powerful engine put in this series of trucks. So I've got some power when I need it. Now among the new innovations put in modern vehicles are backup cameras. Well, you can now install an aftermarket backup camera for just a few hundred dollars. And for us guys whose necks don't turn around like owls anymore, these are worth having. I'm also going to put on some other modifications, some of which I've already done and others will follow. On the front, which you'll see in a minute, I have a new brush guard which has a winch adapter on it. And I have the winch too, I just don't have it on the truck at the moment, but I'll show you a picture of it. And here's the winch, cute little thing that it is. And that winch is removable and reversible. So you don't have to haul around that extra, well, 100 pounds or so all the time. And I'm also going to put a cab over on the back so I can lock up my gear in the back. Or even if I have to, sleep back there. So now we'll go around and take a look at the front. Here we have the brush guard and the winch of course would fit in the center bottom and there is the electrical connection outlet for it. Uh, it runs off the battery, so if you've got a lot to do, uh, you would want to run your engine to keep it from draining your battery because that does draw a fair amount on the battery when it runs. Uh, got good modern headlights on it, a uh, reasonable hood, uh, more solid than most. And now that I put some steel out front, I feel confident in traveling it through Georgia's deer infested roads. Yeah, I've hit two, and my wife, when she was alive, she hit two. So this is a real danger. So these things at least will keep them off of you, as well as protect the front of the vehicle in the event of a collision. The back of the truck and the tailgate is, of course, conventional. And, of course, we do have a tow package already on it. We also have a bed liner in the truck. Now, one thing I like about the king cab version versus the crew cab is that I have some length of beds. I sometimes haul boats, so this gives me a better run, and with the bed down, I can put a medium-sized pond boat in it, uh, such as my stealth boat. It will fit very well in this truck. When I put the camper shell on it, it will match and color the vehicle, more or less. It will be the same height as the cab, 
It will not have windows on the sides. I don't particularly like those. But the camera will be mounted up here. So I'll be able to back a boat down a ramp and see where I'm going. Wow! Now that's an amazing improvement for one guy. I don't know if you've ever backed a boat down a steep ramp by yourself, but very often that involves stopping, getting out, looking, see which way the boat is oriented, pulling up, backing down again, trying to get a little further, pulling up, backing down, pulling up, backing down. In the meanwhile, all the rest of the people ready to launch their boat are up there sounding their horns and cussing at you. What is that damn fool doing down there? Is he ever going to get that thing in the water? Well, this will help that problem considerably. And so that's another reason, besides the safety involved in backing up in the woods and not being able to see trees directly behind you and so on, uh, that the backup camera allows. As we put more modifications on the vehicle and take it out on its hunts and actually use some of its features, yep, we'll share those with you too. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Ideas for New Businesses explains how you develop ideas for your own million or billion dollar business. And here is a little blurb about me and the book. This is part of my new book, Profit, that will be out in 2015. I'm also the author of prize-winning outdoor books, including Extreme Muzzleloading, Crossbow Hunting, and an eight-book e-book series on muzzleloading guns, including hunting with muzzleloading shotguns and smoothbore muskets. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 400 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye! And God bless.